Capital Microelectronics is a company that was founded uh, and public in the year 2000. When we moved here in 1985, I think we had a 15 or 20 people when we bought our first building at 500 Commons, and uh, we now have more than a thousand people around the world, probably 400 or so here in Aurora, Illinois. And most of the industry is based and headquartered in the Silicon Valley, Palo Alto, that part of California. We made a decision early on. What was important for our business was to be close to some major international airports where we could travel around the world as we need to. Our customers are in places like Taiwan and South Korea and Japan and Singapore and Europe. We were also looking for a place that was attractive for people to, uh, to relocate and bring their families and move to. And we found that greater Aurora area tends to be relatively affordable when you compare it to California and some of the other uh, uh, places we were recruiting from. Um, great airports, uh, you know, good quality of life, good schools, uh, all that sort of, you know, you know, sort of stuff that people find attractive, uh, we found attractive, so we decided on uh, Aurora, Illinois. Aurora's always been a very, um, supportive community for us uh, in, in a lot of different ways and, uh, and we like the collaborative relationship we have with the, with the community at Aurora and the, and the, the people of Aurora and uh, it's really helped our business and supported our growth in, uh, in a responsible and meaningful way and we like being part of it. We are the world's leader in a technology called chemical mechanical planarization. Uh, we serve the semiconductor industry and only the semiconductor industry. Um, our technology is an enabling technology and it allows the semiconductor industry, our customers, uh, to continue to drive what's called Moore's Law and it's the continued miniaturization of circuits and circuit technology. It's very challenging. Our customers are companies like Intel and Samsung and TSMC and Toshiba, some of the world's leaders in uh, technology innovation and it's, uh, it's challenging but we've been able to keep up with them from a technical point of view. We continually bring innovative new products to the market to, uh, to meet the emerging demands of our customers as they go down uh, to smaller and smaller feature sizes and incorporate more and more materials into a semiconductor device. I think the mainstream devices would be things like laptops and personal computers. Uh, that's where the bulk of the semiconductor content is and that's where we've always been. We've enabled a lot of that technology. Um, with the emergence of things like iPods and iPads and these new tablets, we're in all of them in, in one shape or another. Professional people come to us because we are the leaders in the technology that we that we work in and the field we work in and, and, and the people that are out in the world that want to be part of of that technology and are knowledgeable in that technology naturally want to work with the leaders. So we tend to attract uh, some of the best technical and scientific minds to the company because they, they just want to be part of what we do. Um, we have an amazing infrastructure both here in Aurora and around the world of um, call them sort of toys for scientists to play with. So we have the latest and greatest state-of-the-art uh, um, research equipment and, and people are attracted to that as well. It's, it's hard to get all these kind of uh, tools and experimental uh, devices in one place at one time and we have them all here in Aurora. You know, we have grown every year. We've grown about 9 or 10 percent every year since we started the company. Uh, it's getting, you know, it's, the technology is getting more and more challenging. I think what's in our future is, you know, more than 80 percent of our sales now are generated offshore. And we do a lot of our fundamental research here in North America and Aurora, Illinois. And we do a lot of our, let's call them leading edge product manufacturing, development and manufacture here in Aurora for a lot of different reasons. Uh, but we hope to continue to grow and we hope to continue to invest in the business. And, uh, you know, we have a plan. We have a three to five year plan that has a lot of growth built into it. And that, you know, we hope to grow with the industry, be part of it.